poppin' everybody, it's your girl Ari coming right back at you with another video. If you're interested in seeing how I got to slick down and curl up my little 4C here into this cute little bun, make sure you keep on watching. But first, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, let me know what you think of the uh, what you think of this <laughs> and how you like it, and also share it with your friends and of course subscribe because girl, a whole bunch of videos are coming your way. Anyway, thanks for clicking and continue watching. So first I just wanted to come out here and show you guys my hair in its natural wet state. And as you can see, I have 4C hair. And one of the biggest proofs for this is that I get major shrinkage. So I went ahead and I blow dried it just because my hair is short. You don't have to blow dry it, but because I have short hair, in order to get like a bigger bun, I have to stretch it with the blow dryer. So after I blow dry it, I go ahead and I part my hair into sections. Now this is like the golden rule this is the major key this is the secret to getting a perfectly sleek bun with thick hair as you can see my hair finally got thick y'all i'm so excited because i usually have like i had thin hair like my whole life so i'm happy my hair is finally getting thick so to smooth down thick hair you need to just part it into sections and then spray water and plaster it with gel now if you don't like a lot of product that is cool you don't have to use as much as i do but listen i go ham with all of my products so i just took all that gel and i plastered it all over my head and then i go with my paddle brush i brush it up then i go with my fine tooth comb i comb it up like you don't again you don't have to do all of these steps but this is just what i did to really get my hair sleeked up and then i just move on to the next section and do the same exact thing this video is kind of longer than it could have been but it's just that i wanted to keep as much footage in as possible so you guys could see my process now it does seem pretty long but you're gonna see that if you use this technique when the next day and the next week for the next week you're not gonna have to repeat these steps you just have to refresh it with more gel and a brush and it's just easy super easy throughout the week that's why i started sectioning my hair because my buns were easier to do in the following days so again like these are just repeated steps you're gonna be oh quick length check yo my hair grew y'all see y'all remember when the back of my head was bald thumbs up if you remember when i had my undercut like <laughs> throwback thursday okay it's not even thursday anyway i continue like i said going on to every section doing the same thing now there's no perfect roadmap to this you can choose as many sections you want to do as much water as you want to use and as much gel as you want to use this is all up to you you just keep on brushing and applying until your hair looks like how you want it to look
to edges. Now I realize with 4C hair, girls, trust me, I know the struggle of sleeking down at edges, but one of the first tips I'm gonna give you is to actually just pull out your baby hairs. Don't pull out any hairs that are longer because it'll be tough now. You see, this got to be glue gel. It works. It actually keeps your edges down. I've tried the Gorilla Snot. That also works. It's just that, number one, it gave me pimples. And number two, it always flaked on me and like mixed in my foundation really badly. So I like the Got To Be because it dries pretty quickly and it doesn't leave too much of a residue or anything like that. So listen, tips and tricks generally for 4C edges is pulling out only your short baby hair. Oh, my jam came on. Yes. Okay, but yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, pull out only your baby hairs and use got to be gel and um, Oh an edge brush edge brushes are great. I find they work better than toothbrushes because they're just like the perfect Density so you get to really get the right stiffness yet. It's still soft enough to soup You'll see check out the link in the description box below and I'll leave some links for edge brushes They're really good. Trust me. Go get it. It will save your life but yeah, this is what I learned for my edges and this is what works because before I was never able to get my edges down really nicely until like last year when I discovered these little tricks. So I hope it works for you. Comment down below and let me know if it works for you or let me know what you do for your edges, whether it's 4B or 4C here. Just, you know, share your tips and tricks just for everybody who's watching because everybody's always looking for, you know, for some advice in these areas. And of course the wrap strips y'all know how much i love wrap strips i'll also leave a link in the description box for those so don't worry about it now moving on to the bun so now to get the curly bun effect we're gonna just comb out our bun to like stretch it and i actually found this cream this curl cream in my house randomly i believe my mom bought it i didn't think it was gonna be super good or anything but i just tried it but yo this cream actually works like look how it defined my curls i was actually really surprised so i just used it all over my bun you take out little sections and you just twirl it around in your finger now I know it may seem like it's gonna take a long time but this entire process just took me about 10 minutes and you won't have to do this every day you only just retouch it after the initial curls are done and I'm just showing you here the size of the section you can see the shrinkage again but the size of the section that I'm using just so that you could you could change the sizes depending on you know how your curls are and how you want it to come out but yeah i took pretty small sections here i tried to use eco styler gel which also worked but i decided to stick with the curl cream because i know eco styler can make your hair pretty dry so and i liked how the curl cream actually had honey in it so it made my bun super soft which i really liked with the fine curl so it was like a win-win situation like i said it does kind of take a little bit of time this took me about 10 minutes but don't worry because in the days to follow you're literally just going to be retouching it barely i also added in some water because you know my hair is blow dried so it kind of got a little bit dry in some sections and i wanted the curls to really pop in some areas so i just sprayed a little little bit of water because i didn't want it to shrink up too much i even got lazy in some areas and i took bigger chunks but you know just play with it until it looks like how you want it to look and don't worry about this white residue it's actually gonna go away when it dries Don't forget to blend people. Those head ties be trying to trap us, making us look crazy going outside, but we will not have it. We will not have it. 
by the way guys if you're interested in seeing how i got this makeup look make sure you go check out my 24 hour transformation video which will be in the description box below so make sure you go check it out go like it up and watch it you know and let me know what you think about it um but yeah so now just to just finish this off i'm going to take my afro pick comb and just pull it out at the roots because my hair is really short so i can't really make a bun but we're gonna fake a bun we're gonna form this into a bun because we i mean technically it's a puff but we don't really want a puff we want it to look like a bun so we're just gonna like you know pull it out and form it with our hands to make it look like kind of like a circle if you know what i mean so yeah these are the end results i really hope you like it smash the thumbs up button if you like this style make sure you comment down below let me know you know what you think about it let me know your hair texture your hair type how you deal with your edges drop any kind of advice you have because i know people are going to be looking for advice for their texture here so y'all be dropping some bombs of wisdom sometimes so you know just go ham with the comments and share this video of course and you know let me get out of here because i think i'm about to talk so that's it for the video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you like oh my gosh why can't i speak <laughs> i hope you like it i hope you enjoyed please let me know if you have 4c hair and you've been struggling to get a nice bun and if this helped you out in any possible way let me know or just tell me share with me your tips and tricks on how to sleek up 4c short hair um i think it came out really really cute my edges actually cooperated just got to be glued gel is no joke but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what videos you would like to see next. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.